Yo, that was good. YFP, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fresh production. Um, shit, I'm just gonna show y'all a little tutorial on how to do like the scribble effect, doodle, scribble, drawing effect, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of tutorials on YouTube they they show you how to do this, but they show you how to do it on Adobe or whatever. They don't show you how to do it on Sony Vegas, which is what I'm using. So I was gonna give you a tutorial on how I did it and how to do it on Sony Vegas. So simply put, here's a short ver here's a short answer. Essentially, what you're doing is you're basically taking well for Sony Vegas. What you're basically doing is you're basically taking a photo from from the frame of the video, and then what you do is you uh, you save a snapshot of it, which is right here. Press this button. And then, so if I press this button right now, then I save a picture of this, which I've already done. So when you do that, then you save it to wherever you save it at. In, in this case, I've already, I already have a designated photo that I saved it to, and I'm ready to go with it. I'm ready to draw on it. So pretty much, I've made a photo already that has like hella pictures that I've already saved. So these are the ones that I've saved. Uh, yeah, these are the ones that I've already saved, and I've already, you know what I'm saying? These up here are the ones that I've already drawn on. And these are the one. This is the one that I've, I haven't drawn on, and you might not see any drawings on it right now because I know that I already drawn on these, and I, I have a separate folder for these, the ones that I've already drawn on, which is let me see these right here. So these are one, these are all finished drawings. So I drew on all of these pictures already. So pretty much what I do is I use paint, paint. <laughs> I use this program right here, and I already have the picture already loaded. The the next picture that I'm gonna do. So essentially, all you do is take this and you draw on it. You use whatever tool. There's no rules with this, so you can use anything. You can use whatever color. You can use any brush. Um, you can use the paint fill, whatever you want to use. Do it's pr pretty much be creative and do whatever you want. But in this case, I decided not to do anything too crazy. So just you know, so just for this tutorial and shit. And plus, I'm gonna do it for this video. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw on this picture, and plus, I'm not using a drawing pad, but I'm using the standard mouse thing. So, um, I'll get a drawing pad probably later on. So, I'm just gonna draw on this. So, what you do is you just try to be as careful as you can, and then just draw on the picture. And don't worry about being like too precise because, I mean, after all, it's it's just being creative and it's just a drawing. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, you'll do this probably a couple times on a couple frames, and then you'll maybe you could change it or whatever. So, but this is pretty much all you do. You just take it, you draw on it. And like I said, it doesn't have to be like perfect or nothing because you know, it's, it represents. Everybody's gonna know what it's gonna represent. Whatever you're highlighting. So as you can see, I'm highlighting like his headband, and then I'm doing his glasses. And I'll do his necklace. So, and then I'll show you a little example after I do this one. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect once again because I know this one isn't perfect at all. But essentially, you can see, like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell that I highlighted his glasses and his headband and whatnot. So, I'm about to do his necklace right now. So, take it and pretty much, I'm just going to highlight it. I'm not going to like draw around it or nothing. And then it's like a little spot down here that I can highlight. And then right over here. And bam. So once you're done doing it, then all you have to do is just save. Save it to wherever. And in this case, I've, I've already got a designated folder. And then you save it there. And bam. So you're done. So now you just can go back to your program, which is Sony Vegas. And now that, now that I'm done with this keyframe, which is right here, which, where the um, the marker's actually sitting at. I can now just go back and find the picture that I just drew on, which is in this one. And bam, here it is right here. So I just drag that. No, wrong program. See, it's, it's already up here at the top, so you pretty much cut it. 
So wherever you, wherever you uh, started your keyframes. In this case, I did three keyframes. So I did that's that's the first keyframe, and then if I press right on the arrows three times, then watch one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And bam, I did them by threes. So you can do them by twos or ones or fours or whatever. But I did them by threes just to give it a little bit of space. And j I'm going to give you a little example on how it look. I'm going to pre-render this real quick. So just pre-render. All right, pre-rendered. And this is what it's going to look like. This is the outcome. So. And as you can see, it pretty much did it. So if you want to make it longer, just do the same thing which you, that we just did to the, these other clips. And then just make it more of them. And then it'll just make it longer. And then you can flip it up. You can add like scribbles in, on the side. Well, yeah, you can add like scribbles on the side and over here. And you can like highlight his fingers or whatever. So, bam, there you go. That's pretty much how you do it. And if, there, if you guys got any questions, just don't, don't hesitate to PM me. You can uh, comment. You can... Uh, Leave a comment, ask me anything, and I'll I'll try to clarify anything, maybe in another video. But I hope that helped you guys out. And uh, shout out to all the other Sony Vegas users that still, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing on Sony Vegas, you know what I'm saying? And we still, we still doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I ain't got nothing else to say, so uh, peace. I hope y'all enjoyed the video.